for my boots haul today. It's all in this little bag here, so before it gets annoying and irritating, I'm gonna empty it all out, because I feel like I have to shout over the I decided back. to buy some extra bits in boots was in my last haul, I explained to you that when you bought two products, you got extra points and all that kind of cool stuff. And so I had some points and I was running out of some of my skincare. So skincare went on three for two, winner. So I got three for two and I got to pay for it on my points. So the first thing that I got was this, and this is my Clenance K, which is my daily moisturiser. I love this stuff. It's exfoliating, it's hydrating, it's for oily, blemish-prone skin, and it just leaves my skin really fresh. It keeps me matte, works an absolute treat. So I picked up another one of those. These are £11 as well, so I think it's really, really good value. So that's amazing. Then because it was on three for two, I obviously had to get two more things. And I actually forgot to show these in my favourites, and I'm really disappointed about that because I'm absolutely loving them. But these are the Nip Fab Glycolic Pads, so I decided to buy one and get another one of these free. Now these are the exfoliating little pads for your face, and you can use them twice a day, but I've only been using them once a day, and I find they've been absolutely brilliant. They've really helped with my skin, they're keeping the texture really nice, really smooth, they don't irritate, they don't sting, they're literally amazing. So I was really excited to be able to get one of those for free as well then something else I picked up because I don't know if you've downloaded the new boots app I'm like the boots girl today and um, the new boots app but you get extra points for different things when you spend um, so I had 200 points if I bought any product from the new tea tree and witch hazel with active charcoal range from boots and I really liked the look of this this is an intense deep cleanse facial mask and it is black um, you can just sort of see it. I've used it once and I really liked it. Um, and this was like £3.69, so I thought it was worth trying. Um, it, what it does is it just purifies, draws all the rubbish out of your skin, helps to leave you matte, your skin fresh and all that kind of stuff. It smells really nice as well because it smells of tea tree. So if that's something that you don't like, this product wouldn't be for you. But I've really enjoyed that and I was really glad that I picked it up. A little bit boring but I picked up two more of my favourite toothpaste which is the Max White one. They were two for five pounds so you couldn't really go wrong. One's already this in the This is bathroom. something that my gorgeous friend Sahar who I mentioned before that told me about the collection concealer that I love so much told me to get and this is the Lasting Finish 1000 Kisses Stay On Lip Contouring Pencil. So basically it's a lip liner from Rimmel and this is in the shade 011 Spice and this was out of stock for ages so it actually took me ages to get hold of it and then when it was in I was like ah that'd be mine so I'm excited to try it I've only worn it once and it was just when I was playing around so I haven't really tested it out properly but I really like the colour and if Sahar likes it her recommendations with me we like very very similar things so I can't imagine that I'm not going to like it but it was like 3 99 as well so okay, I decided Bargain. to pick up this Butter London Nail Polish and this is in the shade Muggins and this is what I've actually got on my nails now and it's like a grey but it almost looks lilac in some lights it is almost like a grey a grey tone lilac or a lilac with a hint of grey I'm not sure which way around you'd want to say but I've only got one other Butter London nail polish and I wasn't impressed with it, it was Disco Biscuit and because it was sheer, it just wasn't for me so I really have thought about which colour I wanted to get and all that kind of stuff and I just felt that this was in my comfort zone and I've had this on now for, when did I put it on, so 7, 8, 9, I've had it on for 9 days and I've only got 2 fingers that are chipped and then my two fingers that I do everything with like till and cook and everything because I'm right handed um, but other than that, they are pretty damn good. You can see where it's grown out, but it's lasted an absolute treat. So I'm really excited by that, and I love the colour, and it just looks so pretty. And then I decided to pick up one of these. This was just on a random when I was walking through on my break one day. And this is, I'm not even sure what these are called. It was on a stand all on its own, but it's called Socialite, and it's from Barry M. And it was glitter, obviously. And um, you can kind of see it's reflective. So it's like a blue-toned, pinky-purple with multicoloured glitter in it. It's not holographic or anything like that, I don't think. I've tried it on one nail and it is quite sheer so I don't think it's a colour that I would wear on its own so I think it's one that I would have to build up but I'll have a little play around with that and then as soon as I know I can The last two things know. that I've got are both nail polishes and I'm ridiculously excited about one of them specifically. Back in August I went to one of my best friend's weddings and I wanted white nails with chunky gold glitter because I'd seen a picture on Pinterest and I was like oh that's what I want to do with my nails. Could I find a chunky gold glitter? No. 
I could find rose gold, I could find pale, pale, pale gold, but could I find just a normal yellow gold chunky glitter? No. Then, yesterday, it appeared. And this is from Seventeen, and it is called, I'm not even sure what it's called, it's called Gold. And it is just a clear base with chunky hex yellow gold glitter in it. So it was exactly what I was looking for, and it was 3 .99. So I have it now. But do I want to do white nails with gold again? I'm not sure. I'm going to have to wait and see, but I have it, I can use it, I'm really excited. So it's like, whoop, whoop. And then the other thing that I picked up was this, and this is one of the same collection. This one's just called Glitter. This one's called Tinsel, and the shade is pink. And this is literally like a party in a bottle. It has got chunky cerise glitter, micro yellow, holographic, green, blue, pink, literally so everything. zoom in just so you could see how gorgeous this polish actually is. It is genuinely like a party in a bottle and I'm just so, so in love with it. I really do think this is what I'm going to be putting on my nails next. And that, thankfully, is the end of my boots haul. Um, I've done loads of shopping lately, but that is it now because I have to concentrate on Christmas. I've got a couple of little bits coming, just I've got a makeup, couple of bits from Makeup Geek coming and then I've got something else that I'll share with you when it arrives. But they're all just more like little itty bitty bits. There's no more big hauls coming up my way, I hope. I'm going to try really hard. Maybe one more? I'm not sure. Um, but for me, I've got to start concentrating on Christmas and thinking about other people. Although I have bought Christmas presents, so I need to stop being so hard on myself and just get on with it. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this haul. Let me know what you think about the bits, if you like them, if you've tried them, all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you all soon. Thank you so much for watching. See you later. Bye.